Hey everyone, it's Navik here. Sorry to this week's uh, Here Organization interview got a little late. Um, got some IRL stuff that kept it from being delayed. And not to mention that this chapter, or chapter four, it's pretty short. Or, which, yeah, after how bonkers the first three chapters were, or this one isn't quite as impactful, but it does do a bit of, bit of setup for the next chapter, or as well as continuing the themes, because we start the chapter off with this off with this propaganda for the hero organization about someone going into space created by the Ministry of Bliss. This, and yeah, we get to see some of Leo's confidants. Yuri Maratov, off who, he's the one, as we see in a flashback, he's the one who ends up, up being, t who ended up telling, telling Leo about uh, the fact that Ryu got killed. So yeah, he's one of, he's Leo's biggest confidant. And, He's a bit eccentric. He said that he's jealous of Leo for being going to like a training academy, he being around all those blissful dreamers. Or he even admits that he's kind of a jerk. And however, yeah, uh, Yuri is also like Leo. Yuri also had had someone who was and who was martyred by the hero organization, his own and his big brother. Other and yeah. We do get a bit of, of darkness with these two, like you saw with Leo in the previous chapter. After, and yeah, we see the main setting of the Space Force Officer Academy. He, oh, and we see that Leo oh, create his own like tiny little a robot called Old Zoltaro. Ah, I give you a second, folks. Just gotta. However, by the end of the chapter, there's something big happens. Oh yeah, before we get to the end of the chapter, we do get a bit hint of what of what Leo and Yuri are about to do. Yuri's going to be at the heart of the hero organization, their main base, gathering intel and finding possible allies. As Leo's going to try to get into the account. Ace and get to an elite unit, build his reputation amongst the space forces, and gain influence from the inside. Right, so yeah, yeah, we got some collaboration going on. And when Leo goes to the academy, and of course we meet Zoltaro, he ends up going to the museum first. So I do like that Leo though, does have a, a bit of that love of robots and stuff. Uh, even and with his more sinister plans, and we get this cute flashback of Ryu showing, showing the zoo lab to to Ryu for the or to Leo for the first time. I mean, I like this little bit here, here, and it goes to show, and yeah, it's showing that even though Ryu's dead, his influence is still going to be felt throughout the orchid, throughout the at the story. After all, Leo's doing this entire thing just to get revenge for his dad's death. But yeah, we see that someone was. Inside the zoo lab, uh, Millie, from the pre, he, Millie, the girl that Ryu saved from Chapter Two, and she recognizes Leo as Leonidas Ty Tyler. With the tag light ending, is this the girl his father saved all those years ago? So yeah, that was Chapter Four of Hero Organization. This one was really short and definitely feels more like just a, setting up the status quo, fitting in the stuff they couldn't fit into Chapter Three. Like, I imagine if this ever gets adapted, chapters, there's this and chapter three would probably be condensed into the same episode. And yeah, that's going to be our, our last chapter of Hero Organization until the 20th. It's going like us on a semi-weekly basis where we're just going to be three, these three chapters of releases in a row, and then it's going to take a week off, which I honestly prefer that. I want, and I, as much as I'm enjoying the manga, I wouldn't want the manga cut. Like the writer and artist to like, or to like really heart themselves, like keeping up to a crazy weekly schedule. Oh, so, oh, thank you all for, all for stay for watching the video. Oh, I'm Navik, and I'll see you next time.